All right. Well, that was uh, disappointing to say the least. Um, more regulation voting. Let's go. Regulations. These might be opposing new sporting regulations. We believe that a higher limit to engine ERS and gearbox car parts will reduce the number of powertrain failures and penalties. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Vote for this. Confirm. God, give me more parts. <laughs> Difficult race, yes, a hundred percent a difficult race. Yes, we are aware that uh, mix uh, defending could be better. He's up to 70. Let's go. F1 in schools. Our annual learning about F1 in schools. World finals to start with the aim to spread awareness about careers in science and engineering. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's in car parts, huh? We really don't have any more of these? Oh my god. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, for one, do I have anything being made? We have no front wings made. Alright. Mick, or Kevin, is getting Mick's wing. Mick. Mick. Getting an old wing. Because I don't even have the... I don't, I don't even have the uh, capacity to make another one. 35, 35. Yeah, new gearbox, baby. How's all this stuff going? You're good. Engine, baby. <laughs> 43, 34, and 100. Yeah, put it in. Put it, uh, put it in. Put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. Just put it in. I don't even want to think about it. Just put it in. Unfortunately, we did that. We did that. We did that. We did that. We're good. Door center. Upgraded. Upgraded. Perfect. Weekly income goes up. The helipad is in poor condition. It's in less good condition. Refurbished for 60 grand? Sure. Sure, why not? Thank God. Red Bull voted against it. Alpine votes against it. Alpha Tari and Martin voted against. Losers. CFD simulator upgraded. Very, very good. Very, very good. Let's go. They're, they're refurbished on the helipad. It's done. New manufacturing on the suspension. Done. And some new front wings. Done. Which means we can throw the uh, front wing onto. Thanks, car. Let's go. Good front wing back. What did I just make? Suspension? Sir. Just manufactured front wing manufactured. Race prep, race prep, race prep. Reach Q3? Are you? How about we reach Q2? How about that? Well, this too. But we make it 13th. I don't want to, like. You gotta get qualifying, like, under control. Got to. Circuit de Panrakan! I am going to do something on purpose this time. K-Mag stays in the garage. I think Kevin is in. I think Kevin's in. I think he's, I, we are, mm, this could come back to bite me, but I'm going to keep Kevin Magnuson in the garage. And we are going to do our best to make sure Mick is the last one out of here. Chill out. Mick, Mick is screwed because he just like absolutely just put himself deep, deep into traffic for no reason. I guess he's gonna try and hold up the rest of the field, but uh, what a what a decision. We're holding up an Aston Martin, that's for sure. behind us. Both houses behind us. Joe's behind us. I guess it could be a play here. Could be a play.
Green first sector. Green first sector, Mick. Let's go. Let's get it. Got to make up at least one and a, one and a half hundredths or one and a half tenths here, which I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen, but we're actually in a pretty decent spot, all things considered. The coast. Interesting line there, Mick. Albon does not, well, improves, but not enough. Pierre Gasly going fourth fastest. Wow. Go to Mick, stay in. Lando Norris probably going to go faster. Hamilton definitely going to go faster. Mick actually looking decent to make it. Mick's in. He's in. No matter what, he's in. And he still improves. Let's go, Mick. Double Q2. Double Q2. And K-Max stays in the top 10. Huge. Huge. Kevin Magnuson can make it here. As long as we don't mess up, we can do this. We're going to send Kevin first because Kevin is our best bet to making it here. I didn't mess up Kevin there by getting to him late. I really focused there if you couldn't tell. Yellow sector, fuck! I mean, really, we probably need to be worried more about Mick than it. Leclerc doesn't improve. What happened to Charles Leclerc? Did he even come out? Oh, Leclerc didn't even come out. Oh, wow. We're for sure beating a Ferrari. Test improves. Kevin's gonna, gonna gonna have to go monstrously faster here. Stappen does not improve. Everyone ahead of us, we're literally not worried about. Yeah, middle sector green. Mick has to improve by like six thousands. Has to improve by a lot more than six thousands. Mick probably out here, but decent showing from uh from the young driver here today. Kevin is through, which is huge. Actually goes above Alonso. Let's go. Oh. So close, Mick. P11, though. P11, that's huge for Mick. That's, I think, is probably his best qualifying position at this point. And Danny, and Dan oh, Danny Rick's behind him. Dang it. <laughs> best starting position for Mick so far. Best starting position for Mick so far. 91%. You set, you set on the first run. Soft, fresh, brand new, spanking new set for his last qualifying run here. Definitely a lot of opportunity. Opportunity abounds. Here we go. Going for glory. In France. Pull the record. Cross the line with just enough time left. Nothing but free air ahead. And a slightly broken gearbox. Just slightly. Very slightly. Oh, I should be looking at sectors. Green sector. Kevin will improve, hopefully. Nice clean air. He will and shall improve. Voltas goes faster. Alonso goes faster. Ocon does not improve. P9 is locked up at minimum. At minimum. All we have to do is go 1,000 faster to take P8. But it's a green, green. I have high hopes. We're definitely getting at least P8 here. Here we go. We were we were faster than both of us in every round so far. And just behind the Mercedes. So in theory, we should get P7 here. 
If Kevin doesn't ruin it right here and right now. Across the line and... B8, B8, B8. Unfortunately, not enough to catch the Alpha Romeo, but a P8 start here in France. We will take none the less. Sergio Perez goes bang, bang, bang. Dang. Tension continues to build here as race day begins. Here we go. Great opportunity here today. Fantastic opportunity here today. La Castellet. Partly cloudy day, huh? Kevin does not have any new softs available. Fantastic. That's fine. That's fine. Kevin will do just fine. You know, Mick really did, I think, do pretty well on this, uh... This hard to medium stint. I think I like the idea of running Mick on this hard to medium stint. How many laps is it? 53 laps. Oh, wow, this is going to be tough. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's run it. Yeah, we'll run that, and we'll run the opposite here for Kev. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're looking to pit. What? What is that? Lap 23? Okay, lap 23, pit lap 32. Yeah. Yeah, we need Kevin to start on the faster tire because that front rear will just leave us in the dust and really limit what we can do. Mick, I think we just need to focus on holding position rather than gaining positions. So I think that's what the hard tire will do for us. But once again, as the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Looking at the Haas, with a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. Really could. It really, really could. Schumacher as the second driver today. They'll be We're looking forward to it. And Starting in the top half with the French Grand Prix. Five red lights. And it's lights out. Lights out. And away we go. And away we move and schmoo. Okay, do this. Cover that. Is that a new race position for Hatch? Yeah, 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 yeah. What tires are we one starting on? A couple of hards, a couple of mediums. Fine. How's Kev doing? Just in line. Alpine just advanced. Fine. Thirty-two percent. We can dig it. I think that gearbox is gonna last literally this race, and then we'll have to put in a new one. What's Mick doing? I'm chilling. Ahead of, we're actually both ahead of both McLarens here. The tires and the horse on. Also on the hards. We love that. I think doing the one stop is going to be really tricky today. It's going to be very tricky. Behind the Mercedes. Just a couple of Mercedes. Let's go. No, okay, we gotta finish that move. Leclerc, why is Leclerc behind us? Oh, right, because he uh, he like didn't go out in Q2 or something. It makes, it makes vibing, literally. Honestly, I am totally content to just have Mick just get dragged along. Totally okay with that. Lechlech is uh, definitely going to be catching us, by the way. Come on, K-Mag. Let's get this move done. with an overtake. 
Let's go, Shumi. Oh, get them both. Oh my God. Is that a new race position? Dude, perhaps? Shumi is on one today. Oh, look, 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 look. He has, he has arrived. No. The race position gained from Mercedes. That's fine. Was that a lock up on the track? So, uh, lock it up, huh? I just want to see what this does to uh, Kevin's pace. Not much on that one. I want to try and protect Kevin's tires a little bit. Russell is probably going to go much longer than us, if I had to guess. I don't believe we can actually drop Mick because... Well, Leclerc is on the mediums. Signs in the pits. This is gonna be a tough race. I can already tell. Like, without even really going, like, having to think about it too much, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a thing. All right, Russell in. Russell's on the hards. No, Russell's on the. Uh, Box, box, Kev, box, box. Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta get uh, mixed tires back a little bit. We got to. Alright, Kevin. Alright, Russell, let's go. Nice. Woo, he's flying. Making P4, by the way. Making P4. Stay calm. Making the move. Thinking about making the move. Thinking about making the move again. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. It's fine, Russell over to Kev Mag, it's fine. There's a lot of race left. A lot of race left. Pass with an overtake. We're right back in it. <laughs> uh tires struggling. I like that we're ending with the faster tire for Mick. That's what I'm liking here. Albano pit. Anyone not pit yet? Ricardo still needs to pit. Joe, Norris, Sonoda, a lot of people at the back. Alonso still needs to pit. Mick needs to pit. Two leaders. Pretty much the top five. The top five still need to pit. Honestly, we are just kind of thriving, just kind of getting dragged along with uh, DRS and faster people saving tires, which is big. DRS every straight. We love that. We'll let them fight up ahead. We are vibing. DRSing, DRSing, Alonso behind, cars up front slowing because they're bad. K-Mac P8, holding off Russell, maybe. Yes, no, yes, maybe. 
No, probably not because he's gonna have the inside line here. For both. Shut the door. Let's go, K Mang. We love that. Tires looking fine. Mick probably looking to we're probably gonna be dipping uh dipping below that 30% mark before uh, that pit. We might try and run long on the hards to give our mediums a shorter stint. Because I'd much rather be pushing on the on the mediums for longer than box early because the hards start to go off a little bit. That's a spin! Joe! Spinning! Spinning like an absolute villain! It's gonna be close. We're gonna be like right near that 30% mark to uh Honestly, letting Russell buy here and then not having to worry about fuel as much would be kind of nice. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Oh, Le Ferrari moves through. Le Ferrari moves through. Lonzo still needs to pit, Mick still needs to pit, and the two leaders still need to pit. The leaders could probably can definitely pit oh, and uh just gained the place. That's fine. Box to mediums, box to mediums. 100%. I make box this lap, box, 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 box. Never closer look. Now just focus on the hats. Oh dear, oh dear. That's he cannot go more than 10 minutes without so locking up. Today. What a shame. Oh, big lock up there. Yes, Kevin, we know. It's fine. I don't care. We're we're big pushing this race. I can tell him not to hit curbs, but we have a really good chance of double points here, which would be big for us. We need this. We need it real, real bad. Real, real, real bad. We're gonna try and hope that uh Danny Rick still has the pit. So we have a big gap. Is that a new race position oh. for us? Let's go K Mag. I'll say full fueling our cars is definitely, I think, the way to go. That way we can just not have to worry about lifting coast as much and uh, potentially try and run it down a little low, burn it off a little quicker. Harvest in sector one, deploy in sectors two and three. Alpine just advanced. Fine. I think I actually am going to tell Kevin here not to fight Mick, let Mick through, and then let Mick fight. Mick fight him when Mick has the, the soft tires as well. Really in the same position, but uh, we're trying to save tires for Kevin. And uh, yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. All right. P8, P9, W. We still have a lot of... Only 11 laps left. Massive for us. Absolutely humongous. I wish don't fight teammate really just meant don't be overly aggressive, not necessarily let them through. Get like 50% charge in that first sector just by harvesting, that's huge. Kevin Magnuson here. 
They've locked up. This massive lock up. Oh my god. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Go over there. All right, Mick. Oh god, it's all on Mick. Let's see what you got. We're still lapping slower than both us. Fantastic. Honestly, I want to keep I want to keep Kevin on big push, but he's locked up a bunch of times. But at the same time, I really want to start burning off some of that fuel, so uh, he can get a little lighter and can hopefully uh, get pushing. I oh, put three seconds faster last lap just because Kevin locked up lit. Actually, have a Mick Schumacher sighting trying to pass a back marker. Oh, there we go, baby. Right, at this point, Kevin needs to just make it to the end, and so does Mick, basically. And yeah, we got double points, first double points of the year, incoming. Fine, it's fine. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Fine. Right back at him, baby. Nick lapping faster than Lewis. I don't know if there's enough laps left, but. Look at that! They've run wide! Signs runs wide. Turn three. It looks like he's fine, but uh Signs runs wide, turn three. He's still right there. <laughs> Claire is 25 seconds behind the front three. Oh my god. A few laps left. Fine, we're fine. Alpine just advanced. Evan's tires are so off now because of that lockup that it's really going to be tough. Pass with an overtake there. Oh boy, wait to shut the door, Mick. We're, you know, we're catching up. We're catching up. Kinda. We're kinda catching up. 
Or at least, like, with its spitting distance. Not the last lap yet. Hey, Mag, we are not touching. Mick? I think we might. I think there's been a lockout. Roll locked up. Lamau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. Still got eight seconds. He still has eight seconds. We're chilling. Perez has crossed the line first. Mick, first points of the season. First points of the season. Let's go. Double fucking points. Has double points. Let's go. Double points. Mick with some huge points. Well done, man. Let's go. Yeah, that was a good try. Good try. That was a fantastic one. The spin was less ideal right at the end, but huge. Huge. And massive no points for McLaren. No points for McLaren. Let's go. And I think we beat the Al I think we beat both Alpines too. Right? Mick goes up three spots. Massive. Fernando gets ninth. S gets eleventh. No points for Esteban. And only two for let's go. Let's go. Huge. Huge. Five points on McLaren's head right there. Five points. Five huge points. Massive. Undeniably huge. Woo! I'll very happily pay Mick Schumacher his $50,000 bonus. Absolutely huge for us.